Hi, it's Chris here, and I want to show you several techniques for making a right triangle. That's 90 degrees on one side, and then the other two are 45. Now, one way people make triangles is to go over here and use the multi-shape tool, go down here to shape properties, and they create whatever this is, a hexagon. But that's got too many sides. We want to make a triangle. We simply go down here to Shape Properties, hit 3, and we will have a triangle. We do, but it's not a right triangle. This is an isosceles. All three angles are exactly the same. They are 60 degrees. And that's not going to work for what we want. So another way to do this is to create two squares, a smaller one that you want to use and a larger one you're going to use to create your 45 degree angle. Now select your larger square, go up here and rotate it 45 degrees. We have it 45 degrees, now we're going to move this over until it touches these two corners on the smaller square. So we'll enlarge this a little bit so we get a better idea of what we're doing. I'm going to arrow this over because it's much easier to do that, holding down my shift and control. And you see right now we have it exactly where we want it. It's touching these two corners. You can expand it bigger. See it's just exactly where we want it. So, now that we have that, we can click both of them. We select both, hit Shift and your left mouse key. Then let's hit Control B. Control B brings up the Boolean Assistant. And we can then, just by simply touching each one of these, we can see what the options are. So, we can do an intersection or we can subtract A from B and we'll just get it the opposite side. But let's, let's do intersection. And here we go. Hit OK. We now have a right triangle. 90 degrees here, 45 and 45. Now another way to get exactly the same results is to make your perfect square, whatever size you want, by hit, holding Shift and using the uh, rectangle key. But once we have this drawn, let's select it, and we're going to want to edit the nodes. But we can't do it unless it's a path, so we make Convert to Path under Edit. Then we hit the Node Edit, and we can select a node. I'm going to select this one here, and I'm going to select D. And now I have another perfect right triangle. So either of the two methods will get you where you want to go. Uh, choose the one that works best and is easiest for you to understand. But realize that simply doing this and then going to Shape Properties and making this 3 does not give you a right triangle. Well, you have a great day, and I really hope this helped you. Bye-bye.